quite an interesting job today. Uh, we have got to build 11 of these padlocks all to the same key for one of our customers. Now what we've done is to actually buy in 10, sorry, we haven't bought 10 at all. We've bought one ready made up to a key and then we've bought another 10 in what are called service format. So that's partly built up. So we haven't got to make the thing from scratch, uh, but we have got to uh, make the key fit the service padlock then put it all together again for a working padlock. I'm gonna show you how you do that in today's video. So this is the Multilock NE10 padlock. Um, very nice little padlock, got a big padlock. Uh, so the first thing we've got to do is to build the insert up so that it works with our key. So, first thing we've got to do is to take these connector parts off the back. And to make sure that I don't lose any of these small components, I'm just gonna pop them in this little tub here to the side. When a lock comes from multi-lock in service form like this, it always comes key to a certain key configuration. And we use this little half key to take the barrel apart. I've got to get it just in the right place, which I've done there now. Pop that in the tub. And then I can take all these little bits and pieces apart and put them in the right places. Now that piece can be reused. I'm going to pop that there. That little part actually can be re reused in that first little thing that I did there. This next one can't be. So I'm just going to pop that away. This next one will go into that area there. That one will go into there. I've got to get a new one out from here. And pop that in there. And that one little piece that I set aside just now will go into that last hole there. Now it's very important to check because that could be the wrong pin have got into the uh, that drawer that I took the component out of. So it's always vital to make sure that it's going to work. And if you can see there, hopefully you can see that, that's nice and smooth across there. So that being the case, we get that part back out. And try and slide it back in only I made a mistake there so I've got to try and do that again without pushing the key further forward and that's how we do that take the key out leave it to one side and then we put this back again now you can see with this component this is the uh, the part that kind of interacts with the padlock body you can see there's a short stub that side a long stub that side and it's important that, that goes in that way round because otherwise the lock won't work put that back on top there and then secure that linkage in with the two little set screws Then, if I put the key in, it will allow the key to turn as much as the padlock needs it to turn. So, now we've got to put that into the padlock. Take this rubber buffer out. Take that part out. There's a couple of tiny little components that we need in there in a moment. And then we have to hoik out some packaging to make room. 
Then what I need to do is to manipulate that part round so that it's square, Ooh, square on, ready to accept this, the, the, uh, the core. Pop that in there. And that slides in like that. Simple as that. So next thing, we need to unlock the padlock. So key in, turn it, and that comes out. The shackle comes out. I then need to pop a screwdriver up there to get that part out of the way. Now I said I needed to get a couple of little components. They are tiny little components out of this bag. First is this little cylindrical piece. That goes in that hole and it's the part, it sits in between the core and the padlock body and physically stops it from being slid out, stops the core from being slid out. And I've got to get that lined up absolutely spot on. So I think I've done that. And the proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. That goes back around like that. Now, the next thing I've got to do, there's actually a hole in this piece for a little screw to go in. So if I just release the pressure on that a bit. And there's the hole ready for that screw. This then stops that bridging cylinder part if that's what it's called. Don't know what if, if that's what it's called, but let's call it that for now. That stops that from moving out of the way and allowing the core to come back out. And again, this is quite a fiddly part. And there we go. There we go. And that is a working padlock. Shackle won't come out, and it's locked up. The shackle still won't come out. And of course, when the lock is unlocked, the key won't come out either. And that is basically that. Apart from, I've got to put this rubber buffer around the edge of there. And to do that, I've got to use the vise in the other workshop. So I'll do that in a second. And there is our padlock with the rubber buffer around. That's the Multilock NE10 uh, Open Shackle Grade 4 Padlock built to the customer's key. If you found this video helpful, it would be really helpful to us if you could like or follow or subscribe to us on your favourite social media platform. Thank you.